We're having some conversations with some of our neighbors and organizations throughout Central Ohio. And today we are with Angela O'Neill over at the Columbus Metropolitan Library. Thanks for joining us, Angela. Happy to be here, Diana. Well, now that things are slowing down a little bit and people are kind of going through their things in their boxes, they're probably coming across some photo collections either that they've taken or they've inherited. What are some tips that you have for people to organize and start sorting through their photos? The first thing I tell folks to do, which is actually the easiest of all, is really just make sure that your photos and family heirlooms, things you care about the most, are in a safe place. Um, a lot of times these things tend to end up in our basements and our attics, which are actually the worst storage conditions. What we really wanna look for first is consistent even temperatures. So in this 60 to 70 degree range, maybe look at a hall closet that would be on first or second floor for sorting and arranging. Um, the first thing you can do is really just go through what you have and um, see what you wanna keep. You don't have to keep everything. I know that we all have a lot of those at home where you have two or maybe even four copies of the same picture. Maybe there's someone else in your family that you'd like to share with. Perfect, and I know that you have a huge local history section over at the library and you take a lot of collections. Talk a little bit about your collection and also the types of collections you look for from other people. Sure, so at Main Library, the Columbus Metropolitan Library, all of our Central Ohio customers are welcome to come in and show us the historical materials they have, and that can be photographs or letters, posters, any kinds of materials that document the history of Central Ohio, and then we scan them, and they go in our My History database at www.columbuslibrary.org slash myhistory, and those are available for everyone to see, for teachers to use in classes, for researchers to use, um, anyone who's interested in learning about the history of Columbus or Central Ohio. For individuals who have family collections who may not want necessarily to share those with the world, we also have a flatbed scanner and an open book scanner where you can scan bound materials. Um, you can bring in a flash drive or hard drive and um, scan those materials right there at the library for free, only at Main Library. If you contact us at history at columbuslibrary.org, we'll take submissions by email. So if you've already scanned some of your family photos, we would love to save those for future generations too. Talk about some of the specific types of things that you're looking for to still fill out your collection. What are the things that get you excited? One of my favorite parts of our, of our digital collection is that we have a neighborhood map. So everything that has an, an address to it it shows up on the map where you can just browse the whole city by looking at the neighborhood map. So we're always looking for photos of old buildings or photos of neighborhoods that may not exist anymore, like Flytown is a great example if you have photos of that area. And it doesn't necessarily have to be super old either. We have a lot of folks come in and think, well, I've only been in Columbus for 10 or 15 years, so my stuff isn't that important. But if you participated in an event that we're going to think of 20 years down the road, as historically significant, that's something we want to see too. People look at their photos from the 70s and 80s and 90s and think, ah, nobody's going to care about this, but it is capturing a moment in time that in 50 years, people want to look at. Exactly. So many of our customers are coming in now because they recently um, purchased a house in a neighborhood, but they want to see what the neighborhood looked like when the house was built. So you might have a photo in your collection of you and your siblings um, standing on the sidewalk with a great view of the neighborhood behind you. You probably are gonna think that's not really historically significant, but for the person who's never seen what that neighborhood looked like at that time period, and if they're now part of it, that's gonna be really important for them. From high school football team photos to class photos, we really like, especially if the people are identified. We also like events, some of the early ComFest, early arts festival, those kinds of photos we like to see. Photos of significant people from Columbus. And um, significant doesn't have to be, you know, a famous rock star basketball player. It could be someone like the folks at Battelle who invented the um, technology to clean masks. That's a really cool Ohio invention. What about portraits? Because sometimes you have stacks of just yeah. portraits of people that you don't know who they are. 
Yeah, that's tough. Um, so if you know who the people are and you at least have a name, we'd be interested in talking to you about that. And we'll, we're, our team will also be happy to do some research. Our team can also date a photograph based on the clothes that the person's wearing or the photographer, if there's a photographer stamp. So even if you think you don't have a lot of information about a photo, sometimes you do. Unfortunately, if they're completely unidentified, we're not able to take them and they're, they're great pieces of art at that point. And also talk about the importance and a lot of people when they look through them and they see these photos, they think, oh, I'm going to sell them. But then that disperses the collection, but the importance of keeping those photos in the local setting. We're also happy just to get a copy of the image. Or, or the letter or the document. So if you want to keep it in your personal collection or you want to sell it or something else, if you can, it, at least give us the chance to get a copy of it. What about collections that aren't local, that are maybe in a different part of the state or in a, in a different state? Our team of researchers knows um, the whole state. We, we know all the libraries around the country and we're happy to connect you to the right place. At Columbus Metropolitan Library, our collecting scope covers Ohio for our history collection. So if you were from Cleveland, we still want to see your photos. I'm a Clevelander myself. <laughs> so feel free to contact us and we'll, we'll make sure that we get you to the right place. So would you prefer to keep the original photos? Sometimes we do, uh, um, but not always. For some materials that, that our, our team feels are very historically significant, we're interested in a donation as well. Well, thanks, Angela. The library is such a great asset, not only to go get books, but also to help with local history research and just collecting our history here in Central Ohio. Thank you so much for having me. And again, feel free to contact us at um, www.columbuslibrary.org and we're happy to help you.